How did you get over the breakup? Why did you break up with your boyfriend? I don't think I've ever actually told you guys this, but basically... Good evening, everybody. It is Monday, and I am going to be getting unready today. I feel like I've never really done something like this, where I like am getting unready instead of getting ready for the day. And I don't know, I've really enjoyed watching other people film these kinds of videos, and I figured you guys might enjoy that as well. You guys have obviously had a ton of questions for me. We haven't really done a life update lately, so I am going to be answering all of the questions that you guys gave me on my Instagram, and then I'm also going to be getting unready and Probably giving guys a life update if there's anything else that I missed. So, without further ado, let's just get started. We're gonna start by taking out my hair. We're gonna actually put it into a soft um, bun or a ponytail. I'm trying out the curly girl method. I've been doing that for about a year now-ish. No, I've been doing it about seven months. It's turned out pretty good. It's been doing pretty well. So I'm obviously brand new to this and I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So don't judge me. We're working on this, we're working on it together, so. But while we're doing this, we're gonna answer our first question if they ever load. Don't mind the beautiful mess that is in my hair. Okay, I lied. I think I actually wanna go get changed first into just some sweatpants and maybe like a sweater. It's a little colder, and so I want to wear something a little warmer, so I'll be right back. Okay, I just got back. I um, didn't wear any of the things that I said I was going to, but we're gonna start by putting my hair up. However, I think tomorrow I'm gonna do a wash day. And so, okay, can we just talk about like, even though it's poofy, I actually am really loving and digging the way my hair is right now. Like it's actually got a lot of curl and I am obsessed. We're gonna put some hair oil in my hair. This is actually from Monet. I have had this for the longest time. I'm actually gonna like lather it with this stuff just so for like basically an overnight treatment. I completely forgot. While we're doing this, I gotta answer some questions and people have some questions, so. Okay, I really love this question. This was the first question somebody asked. Was there a point in your life when you felt like you've let your younger self down? Honestly, not really. I'd say I have been really achieving all the goals and going above and beyond that I thought than I had ever imagined. Because we had started homeschooling when I started like thinking about my future kind of. I've always been a forward thinking person. Like I always think about the next big thing ahead. So I'm trying to really work on living more in the moment, but I feel like I've actually made my younger self very proud because I'm doing a lot more than I thought I would. I never thought I'd go to college ever. Like college was just not my thing. Not because I didn't think I could succeed in it, but because I just, didn't think college was my thing, and now I am chasing the dream I literally had when I was in seventh grade of becoming a psychologist, and now I'm working towards that. And I'm also going on a mission. I'm just a lot happier than I've ever been, and I think that I definitely am making my younger self very proud right now. I'm gonna do just a little bit of this. Okay, the next one was, have you had any big obstacles that you've had to overcome? Absolutely. You guys probably, you guys don't really know this, because I don't share it ever. But I have a ton of my own like struggles, problems that I have to work through that I just, I don't feel very comfortable sharing online. I don't even think my friends really know them. Things like that that I've really had to work on and that have been kind of a struggle for me, but I've gotten through them, obviously. So I would say, yeah, I've definitely had a lot of obstacles, but you know what? I trust in the Lord and I just kept praying. Honestly, praying was my saving grace. Okay. We just put my hair up, and we're now going to do a facial. I do this once in a while. I actually don't wash my face very often, but got some products that I'm pretty sure I've used for the last two years. Every time I actually use other products, my face breaks out very quickly, which I know is like part of the process and whatnot, but my face is very particular. Next question. Do you and your siblings get along off camera? We actually do. And especially when we're traveling, we love to travel together, even like in a van. I actually quite enjoy our van road trips the most, as weird as that sounds. I really love traveling with my siblings like in a car because you just get to sit and hang out with each other, look at the views, and it's just really fun to me. But we do get along pretty well. I think we would, I'd say we fight just about the same amount that any siblings fight, right? Like, it's pretty normal to have little arguments and stuff, but I wouldn't say we're like fighting all the time. We're going to wet my face. I 
I actually love doing full nighttime routines every once in a while because I just get the time to sit and relax. I usually listen to music, which sometimes can be a struggle with AirPods in my ears and getting my face wet, but, oh, looks like we're almost out. So let me know what you guys like to do in your nighttime routines and some products that you use or the companies. I'm always open and I love to know. A lot of you guys ask about like how my skin is so clear. First of all, it's not. Um, I've lately been getting more acne on the sides uh, where my face is more oily. But I would just say that you do not need to buy super expensive products to have clear skin. Anyways, okay. Advice for a struggling college girl who is just so overwhelmed and feels like she can't say no. First of all, girl, I get you. Don't even worry. I uh, I don't know what you're meaning by like saying no, but for me, I love having fun and I love going out and adventuring and just experiencing new things. And so sometimes I do that instead of my homework, which comes back and bites me in the butt. But I just say it takes time to gain a rhythm for yourself, but just do you. Honestly, if you're struggling, like being overwhelmed, I say, just keep doing what you're doing, adjust every single day, and maybe find ways to do your routine, like your schedule I meant. Sometimes people time block, time blocking can work really well. That's, that works for me a little bit, but I just write down everything that needs to get done in the week, and I write down each day what needs to get done so that I can make sure every, like, I write down each day what I can do to accomplish the whole week's schedule. Just prioritize, prioritize. I took 20 credits last semester, and I can say, you can do it. I believe in you. Next question. I can taste my face um, wash. How do you stay so happy all the time? I will say, you can ask my friends. I have breakdowns like every day and I have to call her every day, but she just helps me. She helps me stay grounded. She helps me not get overwhelmed. So I definitely get upset quite a bit, but I just find the positives. I find I am the type of person and pers I have the personality to be prone to depression or prone to like sadness and just madness and I get that all the time and I have to fight and work really hard each day to get over that but I've just found that one I am living my life everyone else is just trying to live their life and I'm gonna do what I want and what makes me happy um what's this burns my face holy shnikes I know that this is like a rough towel that's what I'm just having oh I feel so good right now okay Next question. Oh my gosh, okay, I love this. Someone just said, I'm considering joining the LDS church, which is my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. What is the best part of being a part of the church? If you're gonna join the church, join it because you love Jesus, you love the way the gospel is taught in our church. I wouldn't say join it because of the people that are there, right? Because you can't grow a testimony off of the people per se. I don't want to say this wrong or like get this wrong. So I'm being careful with how I say it. I'd say our church is amazing. It is an incredible thing. And when you can feel the spirit and you can be guided by the spirit, it's amazing. That's how I've gotten to be doing everything I'm doing is because I followed basically the path that God wanted me to be on, right? I obviously have free agency so I can choose what I want to do, but I was able to pray and I was able to ask for help and he led me to where I am now. What was the hardest thing about college this year? I would say having to make new friends. I'm still friends with like the friend group I had before, but I feel like I kind of had to make new friends because I wasn't super, super close like I was my like last semester, the semester before the semester. I wasn't super close, like best, best friends with my roommates, but like they helped me a bunch. And then I met Reese and Aubrey and Reed, and that helped me a ton. But I think the biggest struggle was definitely trying to be on my own and basically just reevaluate my whole life, honestly. But I would say it was well worth it. It was hard, but I'm much happier now. Okay, sorry, I'm just, I really enjoy rolling this stuff. Advice on losing close friends. It sucks, especially when you become close, you like just have this like life together basically. It's almost like losing boyfriends, but not quite yet because you're not as emotionally like, I mean you could be. Like if I lost Reese, I would definitely be like, that'd definitely be like losing a boyfriend because she is like the closest friend I've ever had. I've never been so, so close and connected to someone. Sophie was amazing. She obviously like, it's also someone I was super close with, but yeah. I would just say, be nice to everyone. Um, try not to like get back at them, you know, be the bigger person and just smile and like be nice and it'll pay back.
We're basically done with the facial routine. I am feeling so much better already. We're gonna do a little bit of a lash extension. for a little bit just because you know I found this claw clip and I'm just trying to get used to them a little more so that I am not always putting my hair in the top one but this does kind of make me look bald which I don't know if I like I mean I obviously don't like it but I really should be getting to bed and I'm kind of upset at myself that I'm not like going to bed earlier but it's fine we're gonna be positive while I'm doing this I'm gonna be answering some of your questions how did you get over the breakup? And then the other one was, why did you break up with your boyfriend? Honestly, I had another relationship a while ago that you guys probably remember. It was while I was still living from home. I was like 17 or 16. And that breakup did not go very well. It took me many, 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 many months, like six plus months to be not depressed and not like sluggish about it. Things happened and it just didn't end well. And it was, it was this drawn out long thing. So it was really hard to just get over. But with Jothan, it sounds so weird, but it just felt right. I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but before we actually started dating, he was like, hey, like I'm going on a mission. I really, really like you and I really want to date you. I want to spend this time together, but like, then I'm gonna go on a mission. What do you, like, what do we do? And at first, before we started dating, we had felt, we were like, you know what? Let's date, and once it comes to a mission, if I'm gonna do a mission two or whatever happens at that point in like, six or seven months I think it was it's like well we both decided we were like we will both just break up we'll be friends so not like break up and be like see ya never talking to you again but just like break up be friends let ourselves like grow and we both felt that we needed to break up I don't think I've ever actually told you guys this but basically things kind of just poof. anyways I actually got over it a lot faster obviously I still I still care about him. There's still feelings in me somewhere that are there. I don't know if I can say I still like love, love, love him. I think I love him in a different way. Honestly, it's almost as if all of that memory was like a different me. Does that make sense? Like it feels like it was like erased from my mind. Long story short, I got over it just day to day, trying to work on myself, just realizing, you know what? This is my time to be able to be me to be able to figure out myself like this is God giving me a second chance of growing before I get into a relationship and get married. So this is like my preparation. But anyways, I am going to head to bed. I'm just finishing up crossing some things off. 